Welcome everyone to my video series of the Trinity Demonstrator for Flexible Automation for Agile Production. You are watching the first video out of a five-part video series. My name is Patrick Schmidt and I will guide you through the series. I am affiliated with the Fraunhofer Institute of Machine Tools and Forming Technology, IWU. I will kick the series off with the intro about what in particular is awaiting you. First of all, I want to make you familiar with the structure of this video. After a short introduction to the Fraunhofer IWU and the EU project Trinity, I will give you a better understanding of the motivation for our developed demonstrator. Following are possible fields of application. And at the end of this first video, I will tease the content of the following videos. The Department for Agile Production Machines and Systems takes part in an international project funded by the EU called Trinity. Trinity aims to increase agility in production. The main objective of Trinity is to create a network of multidisciplinary and synergistic local digital innovation hubs, so-called DIHs. These DIHs are composed of research centers, companies and university groups that cover a wide range of topics that can contribute to agile production. Each partner develops a demonstrator that can increase the agility of an industrial application. So did we at the Fraunhofer IWU. The developed demonstrator deals with the topic of flexible automation for agile production. Its goal is to automate a manual workstation in which printed circuit boards are mounted with electronic components. A low-cost automation solution is desired. To achieve this goal, an industrial robot has to perform handling tasks, assembly tasks and a quality control afterwards. Besides the demonstrator itself, several modules have been developed. These modules can be understood as training material and support the planning process of automating a similar workstation. They are designed in a way that interested persons, such as yourself, can use them to get a cutting edge while realizing similar projects. The modules will be explained at the later point. At the bottom of the slide, you can see the printed circuit boards that are mounted with electronic components in the workstation. The developed demonstrator has several fields of application. It can be used in the mechanical and electrical engineering sector. It performs the assembly and handling tasks of small components. In our case, the demonstrator is especially tuned for the mounting process of printed circuit boards. Besides the handling and assembly operations, the demonstrator performs an inline quality control of the assembled printed circuit boards via a vision system. Next up is a short excerpt of the process. You can see how the industrial robot mounts electronic components on the printed circuit board. The industrial robot uses a vision system that is mounted onto the robot to detect the components in the container. The components are then placed in an intermediate storage, reorientated, picked up again and placed onto the printed circuit board. This video is the first one of a five-part mini-series. And since we come to the end of this intro video, I will explain you now the upcoming parts and what you can expect from the rest of the video series. In the next video, we will have a more detailed look into the demonstrator itself. This includes its development process and its technical functions. Afterwards, I will give you a detailed explanation of the modules that were created during the development process of the demonstrator, which is the reason why the modules resemble the planning process of this workstation. This concludes the first video. See you in the next one.